Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing and the gift of seeing this morning and having the opportunity to lay eyes on you. You know, more and more these days, I'm finding myself being drawn to old school psychology and old school psychology and its relationship to what's happening on the planet today and whether or not you and I are living up to what we know is this version of ourselves and our heart we know to be true, but are we fully giving ourselves permission to practice it, to, to live up to it, to lean into what it is we know our heart is asking from us and fully embodying it and then bring it out in the world? That is self-actualization. Beautiful term from Abraham Maslow. He said, there's a need for every one of us. All human beings have a need inside of us to reach for and then fully demonstrate as much as we are willing to own the truth of who we are. That is self-actualization. He asked this question of us, are we being who we can be? Because what we can be, we must be. That is what he believed was the essence of peace. When we were being what we could be, when we had closed the gap, you had this idea, like you're over here, you're going, oh my gosh, this is the idea of me. This is me and my living up to my virtues of kindness, of love, of compassion, of courage, of conviction to my dream and my goals and my intentions of my life. I'm right here. And as I move towards this, as I move towards this, I am self-actualizing each and every day, each and every moment that I move towards this, having an awareness that there's a gap between where I stand or where I sit, where I am, to where I would love to be, that is self-actualization. And that is being a student of what it is that we know we're being drawn to, what we wanna move towards. And when we do that, he went on to say that this is the area of our life when we make choices to move towards our self-actualizing self, we get an opportunity to have a gratitude about life. He talked about the fact that when you make these choices, you have a gratitude about life, and that is the deepest sense of when we are proud of the human that we are living, the humanistic way in which we're showing up in the world. He said that grateful people are all self-actualizers, and it's not about reaching the goal, it's actually moving towards the goal. We get a chance to be a student of all the things that make us come alive as we're moving towards it, the more we get a chance to feel grateful for being alive. So my question to you, my question to me, are we giving ourselves permission to move in the space of growth as we have a vision of what we know to be our heart's calling, asking us what we can be, we must be. Our peace, our purpose, our joy, our love, our light is most proudly, most gratefully shown in an appreciation for what we know we want to be and where we presently are, and not afraid to courageously move towards it with a level of humility, grace, passion, and purpose each and every day of our life. Self-actualization, a need that every single one of us has every single day to become the person that we already are, to let it come through us, in us, and as us. I hope you have a beautiful day self-actualizing. And I hope you feel proud at the end of this day, stepping into the place, this beautiful place where you are most beautifully alive. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.